Hello and welcome to my brand new studio. Well, maybe not brand new. This is a rental and we just moved in. Uh, we've been here about a month and a half and I finally got this place up and ready, running to go. I have quite a few projects for this year um, filmed already and I have a couple of really big goals. Uh, don't know exactly when they're gonna be reached, but they are aimed for sometime this year. So if you wanna follow this journey, stick around. That would be awesome. I would love that and appreciate that. Um, thank you to everybody who's subscribed so far. I'm really thankful to everybody who has any interest in looking at anything that I have to do. Um, I've always been worried about posting stuff because I don't know, it feels like there's so many other artists out there that people would probably rather watch. But I, I don't know, I just kind of don't really feel that way anymore. I think turning 29 this year really lit a bit of a fire under my butt to really get things going. I've had a hard time staying consistent and I've kind of made all these excuses for it, but I'm, I'm ready to go. I've got so many ideas, projects. Um, I've got four videos done. I've got two I gotta film this weekend. I'm in the middle of a commission painting. Uh, yeah, so I have a lot of things going on and I'm really looking forward to it. So if you want to follow along on this journey, this it's going to be an interesting year. <laughs> so I would appreciate a subscribe. If you like this video, that would be cool. Uh, yeah, and if you want to follow me on my other social media, I do have an Instagram and a Facebook page. It's the same name, Katie Cormia, and it's the same profile picture. So that's how you'll know it's my professional page. So yeah. I am so thankful we got to paint. Um, I really wanted to paint the kitchen, but after the many layers it took to cover, what you will see is quite a bright color. Uh, not ideal for filming, not ideal for a studio. So that was the first step, painting. And yeah, I got some new furniture. I've got some new equipment. I have a bit of a new filming setup, so you're gonna see that. And I do have links in the description for most of the stuff. Um, if you're interested, I've got my tripod set up, my table, my cabinet, my new bookshelf. The cover for my mushroom chair is so soft. It's, it's boot proof. I'll have to put in the footage of him sleeping in it. He really loves it. Um, I've got a new easel. So yeah, I've got, I've got a lot of new things in here, a new organization, and I'm really excited. I'm just going to jump right into video and probably do a voiceover for that part, but uh, yeah, I'm going to go through and show you from beginning to end, the before and after, and it was a little ugly at first. Actually, it was quite ugly at first, but yeah, so uh, here we go. Okay, here it is in all its glory, the lemon yellow and gray blue. I don't really know quite how to explain that color. Um, so I really wanted to get this color on the wall as quickly as possible, but I did not prime, which I think was a mistake. Uh, I got this color, this gr blue gray color at Home Depot, and it's a really nice color. Really happy with how it turned out, but it was thin and I wasn't expecting it as I put it on wet. It looked like it was covering pretty heavy. And then as it dried, I realized yeah, no, it definitely was going to need multiple coats. I thought this would take me, I don't know, two hours, but it pretty much took me half a day. So this was coat one, and this was coat three with touch-ups. So jumping right into the furniture, I got a little white bookshelf that I put together. Uh, it's pretty small, kind of cheap, but it does the trick right now, and it fits in my room. And then I got a new swivel chair, rolly chair combination. Uh, it's also kind of small, kind of cheap, but I was on a budget, except for the easel. I did kind of splurge a little bit for the easel. Um, I did get this little toy box from Joanne's that I turned into an ottoman. I put in some of my vintage camera equipment in there. And then I just quickly threw up some curtains to keep the heat out. And this is the sitting area. I put a new cover on my mushroom chair. And then I put up that same floating shelf I had and kept my knickknacks. I added a little Bob Ross in there. And then this is that bookshelf. It just keeps anything that I wasn't really sure that would fit in the cabinet I got. Got my sewing machine on top, extra canvases behind my laptop 
my bullet journal and then I decided the top shelf would be for the smaller canvases, the papers on the next shelf, and then just notebooks and sketchbooks and extra stuff there on the bottom. I've got my extra foldy table and my cutter tucked in the side and then moving to the left this white cabinet has four drawers, one cabinet door. I also tuck some stuff behind here. It's kind of had to make do with the room that I had. This top shelf has my camera equipment, my filming equipment. I got some new audio stuff. I'm actually using it now, so I'm hoping this comes out okay. Um, my hard drive, USBs, SD cards, um, extra batteries, extra small handheld tripods. So that was in the top drawer. The second drawer is book binding materials, glue, washi tapes, clips. Um, I have some resin material in here as well. And some molds for resin. Um, as you get down into the drawers, it kind of gets a little messier because I ran out of space. Uh, so this third drawer does have a mixture of things. I've got my sewing material, I've got extra clips. Um, I got all this extra glitter, so I'm gonna have to figure out how to use all this up. <laughs> Most of it was free, so I don't want to get rid of it. And then I actually painted these ornaments last year and hated it, so we'll have to uh, cover those up and restart. And then this one kind of just has tools and some random pieces of wood that I have been wanting to paint but haven't gotten to. And then under here is my jewelry making supplies. And then this cabinet door is just kind of a catch-all. I have all kinds of different stuff in here. Wood stain, extra craft paint, uh, my glass pumpkins are in here, gesso, glues, um, I don't know, cleaning stuff, extra tablecloths. I actually have this little paint by numbers that I need to get done so I can hang up in here. On top I have my Lazy Susan pen holder. It's got my sketch pencils, Posca pens, regular pens, scissors, knives, things like that, that I probably need access to in a jiffy. My little gallery wall. I have a bunch of extra space on there to add to it, and then I actually want to get some prints from some artists that I follow. And then my easel space, which, yeah, I didn't realize that this was so tall. Didn't really think that through. <laughs> but I have my little speaker there. I like to listen to music when I paint, so a lot of my videos are voiceover or time-lapse. And then right there, I do have all of my painting materials, all of my watercolors, extra gouache paint, um, things like that, extra acrylic paint, like the cheaper brand stuff I have on the bottom. I don't use it as often. And then if you go up, I use this stuff quite a bit. My oil paints, my Holbein gouache, uh, which is actually pretty new for me. I'm pretty happy with that. And then I have my heavy body acrylics, which I use quite a bit. On top, I got some new water paint jars, so no more old crusty pickle jars, and then my paintbrushes ready at the go. And then I do have my markers and pens that I use for bullet journaling on the side here. They're really handy when I want to sit at my table, which is here. It's also my overhead filming setup. I got this new little mirror screen thing um, from Amazon so I can film with my new phone. Um, it's pretty handy. It magnetizes and it mirrors your screen so you can see what you're recording. And then I have these LED lights. I don't use them often, but they're really good when I want to photograph anything or if it's late at night and I need a little extra light in here. And then my extra tripods are down there and my swivel chair. So anyway, I hope you like it. If you do, subscribe, like, and I'll see you next week. Bye.